I was pleased and blessed to attend the pre-advanced class for the first time, and there was the discussion of a particular way of moving around on a C dominant chord that struck me as very reminiscent of a song by Thelonious Monk called Blue Monk. This is one of his most famous blues compositions, and it was one of my wife's favorite songs. So I'm going to play it one time through and then break it down and show you how I think it applies or illuminates, better say, is a better way to put it, the things that Dr. Onye was talking about in the last class. And sure, send me an email, whatever, WhatsApp, um, and I'll be glad to talk about it more. Blue Monk. One other thing I'd like to point out is that this same principle is at the center of a very famous ending in jazz, uh, the Count Basie splank that he puts at the end of a lot of songs. There's a common way of playing it that is not exactly the way Basie plays it, but since that's the one that's most common, I'm going to show you that. Later I can show you the fancier Basie version. The standard thing that most people write and most people do is... What's he doing here? He's ending on a B flat chord. So it runs. We're on a B flat chord. And then he says. Now, those of you who are there for the pre advanced class will recognize what this is. Here it is in C. starts his tune by saying the most basic way of doing it. One, two, sharp, two diminish, one in first inversion. Or three. This doesn't really tell us one or the other. But if you did it with a B flat on the top, which is very common, then the point is very clear. Now here it is in C. Now I'm playing it over a C7, but I could just as easily play it over a C6 or a C major 7. Because there's no 7th here. Once I get into this, don't play C major 7. <laughs> That's the basic idea. And that's the whole tune Blue Monk is built around that idea. The only other real idea going on here is at the very end of the, uh, of the final lick, he throws an E natural down at the bottom, followed by what look, appears to be an F augmented, but it may be an A triad. So look at this. That's very clever. You expect, and in fact, a lot of people play it that way, but that's not what he wrote. In fact, I played it that way the first time before I caught myself. song Blue Monk, Monk lays the whole thing out for us in the second phrase. The second half, the second part of the blues. Here it goes. 
that's the same idea and then now watch this here he goes there's the whole thing <laughs>